Ugh. Why do I keep talking to this boy about the same thing over and over and over and over again? Now he claim, come here, come here, come here. He claim he's sick and tired of me having the same conversation and nagging him. But clearly he is not. You know why? Because we keep having a conversation, the exact same conversation, as a matter of fact, over and over and over again. He think my nagging driving him up a wall? Well, him not listening to me driving me up a wall. Ugh. <laughs> nagging is a topic that men talk to boys about the woman that they are dating or married to that is constantly in their ears. Nagging, 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 nagging. Well, fellas, as promised, this video is for you. So why does she nag? Better yet, what does her nagging really mean? What does her nagging really mean? This is what we're going to cover today, and I'm going to give you about five tips. What her nagging actually means. So the number one thing that her nagging actually means is that she actually still cares for you. She still cares for you. She's trying to get your attention. She's trying to get your attention. See, you guys have to read between the lines. What she actually is saying is that Number two, point number two, she is still 100% in the relationship and willing to make it work out with you. This is why she keep nagging you. She wanted to work out with you. She's not explaining it very well to you or expressing herself very well to you. But this is the way that she knows how to get your attention. Even though it's not working. Women, keep that in mind. It's not working. But fellas, understand that. She's trying to get your attention, and she's 100% still in the relationship. The third thing, oh, the third thing, <laughs> the third thing, <laughs> she is actually repeating what she's seen as a child from her mom, her aunts, her grandparents, whoever. The women, this is how they communicated with their men and eventually got what they wanted out of their men. So she was re repeating the exact same behavior that she's seen. Fourth thing, she has asked you to do a certain thing repeatedly. And for some reason, instead of you just getting it out of the way, getting it out of the way to do, whether it's a task or she's asked you to stop doing whatever, you know, fill in the blank. She's asked you to stop doing fill in the blank, but you keep doing it. You keep saying sorry, but you keep doing it. Your sorry's after a while don't mean anything. Or I'm going to get around to it. After a while, don't mean anything because at the end of the day, guess what? The task is still not done or you're still repeating this bad behavior, which is why she is nagging your butt. So if you stop doing it or complete the task, guess what she going to do? Move on. It might be to the next thing, <laughs> but that thing she will not nag you about. Or if you just do it, I know, I know how we do. We're grown up adults. We don't like to be told what to do. So you want to do it when you want to do it, how you want to do it, because you want to do it on your time. I get it. I get it. I'm just letting you know this is why she nagging you and what it actually means. The last thing is that she is trying to communicate with you the best way that she knows how. So maybe she is actually one of the women who has not gotten the proper tools in order to speak your language. Ladies, listen to this. We actually hint around as ladies and other women could pick up on it because we speak the same language. Men don't speak that language. They are actually very direct creatures. I actually, I listen to men sometimes talking to their boys and whether I'm in passing or I'm listening to, you know, I'm in, in a, um, around a crowd of guys and they're holding conversations. And as a woman, I think men speak really, really harsh to one another most of the time. But they're very direct toward each other. Another man could hear um, a guy or a friend or whatever giving him some tough love that we as women have a tendency to not be able to handle. So anyway, so we have to learn how to speak our man's language. So if you be very direct with him, with within reason and being respectful, you know, go to him and let him know what's been bothering you 
why you've been asking this repeatedly, how it's making you feel. Everything is in a respectful manner. There's no reason to, you know, start name calling or this is why I did this or this is why I did that. You know, being just very negative negative and very mean and demeaning. No reason to go. No reason to go there, ladies. I know that you guys are watching this video, so no reason to go there. Gentlemen, I've given you five reasons why she might be nagging your butt. So there are some things that you could go ahead, reel in, tighten up, keep it together. Happy wife, happy life. If she's not your wife yet, you're going down the road, she's your girlfriend. Keep that in mind. Just go ahead and do it. Because they always say it's one person that's right in the relationship. <laughs> and it's not the man. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. It's usually not the man. Which is why they have all of these sayings. Anyway, if you guys have watched this far, please give me a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot. If you have not subscribed to my channel, this is your very first time around. If you want to see more relationship topics, definitely subscribe to my channel. I would love that and this is the best way for you to keep up with my thought-provoking relationship content. And... um. Look in the description box below to follow me on social media so we can do a little bit more interactive um, videos this year. Thank you guys for watching. Two-finger salute. Four-finger salute. Salute.